Okie dokie, well this is another interesting bit. You're looking at the bottom of the fireplace that we're, um, we're taking out. I've uh, gone down to the floor and of course we've got an old floor which I'm busy exposing which actually is really interesting because it shows all the things that you have problems with and the, uh, the issues we've done. And <clears throat> it's covered in bitumen and on top of that you've got these horrible old lino tiles and Around the edge of the bitumen, it's because it's covered, moisture can come up out of the concrete, can't go anywhere, so what happens is it tracks sideways until it can get out. And of course, what we've got here is a wet patch around the outside. Um, and if I take this, you'll see when this starts to come up, you'll see what it's like. If we just start taking up a few bits, Can you see how it's damp underneath at the edge? And that's that's exactly the problem that we get all the time. This is, you know, this is damp wally. This is this is what damp wally trades on. You notice the wall is dry. There's absolutely no moisture in that wall. You can see the change in colour. You know, you've got a nice dry wall really, but you've got dampness at the edge, <coughs> and that's. we try and lift this up you'll see there you go absolute classic so the the story here is do not put this sort of stuff I mean this this is what they use in the 1930s and 40s it's it's bitumen um, heaven knows what else is in it it doesn't have stink um, but if you look at that you can, you can see how wet it is underneath bitumen does not allow any moisture to get out so you end up with a wet floor, wet concrete, wet walls um, and what you'll find is the very base of this wall will be a bit damp and it's damp because it's trying to let go of this moisture so you don't need damp wally uh, what you need is to cure the problem and the problem is what's on the floor this house has actually had um, Peter Cox and Peter Cox quoted vast sums of money for I think it was you know it's in the thousands for injection damp proofing and messing around with this building and actually it needs nothing other than sort out what is actually causing the moisture problem and there you go so it's a little quick lesson in what causes moisture and you can virtually see this this concrete drying out I mean I, I, I went to get the camera uh, took that piece up and I thought oh, I'll show people you know what it's like and it's it's dried out in the space of 10 minutes and you can see there the the very bottom part of the wall this little bit here and you can just see how the wall is slightly wet a little bit damp there um, and it's been corroding the the gas pipe that's coming up through the floor here and it's all because of this blasted stuff here that's trapping moisture um, I guarantee by this evening that floor will be dry. You can see that it's it's dry there and that's only been exposed 10 minutes and then it gets a bit wetter there and you'll see uh, if I do another video in a couple of hours time this will be dry. It'll be fine. So do not get Peter Cox, Rent-A-Kill, Damp Co, any other PCA Property Care Association, Damp Wally. You don't need them. You need to cure the source of the problem and the problem here is what always is the problem materials that are unsuited to old solid walled buildings this has a concrete floor and the concrete floor is perfectly dry except for around the edges where moisture is not being allowed to escape so let's get the floor up and I reckon we'll have it nice and dry and warm very quickly <laughs>